Another week of college football, and guess what? Florida State finally gets to play this weekend. I guess maybe I shouldn't say that too early, but it looks like that other hurricane is going to go north. Hey, uh, a lot of things have been going on with, with weather and weather-related football games, so we're kind of excited to have a full slate of games. I don't understand why uh, game day is in New York City. Clearly, New York City doesn't have a team. I guess you could say Rutgers is the New York City team, but yeah, it's a little bit of a stretch. I wonder if Herb Street and the boys had something to do in New York this weekend. Anyway, uh, I really got somebody on my staff that pointed out to me that for the first time since like 1911, I think it was, uh, Mississippi State, Kentucky, and Vanderbilt are all 3-0. How about that? That's unbelievable. Well, this week we got Florida State playing, as I said, NC State. Uh, Florida goes up against that undefeated Kentucky team at Kentucky. Um, a lot of good teams in the ACC are going to begin to play. You know, I love October, and we're almost there. In October, you usually figure out through conference play how good these teams are. But now, all of a sudden, with Kentucky and Vanderbilt both being pretty good, over the next few weeks, maybe we'll find out. Mississippi State and Georgia, a really big game. Uh, not because they're interconference rivals, one from the East, one from the West, but to really find out which one of those two teams is an elite SEC team. So we've got a special thing going on this week. Uh, the College Football Playoff uh, Foundation honors teachers, and this is the week that they're going to honor teachers. And uh, we're going to look at and talk to one of our green coats, that's a Tax Layer Bowl committee member, who is also a teacher. And so in just a minute we'll talk to, to uh, Mr. Kaufman about how he decided to become a teacher and what he's doing as a teacher and how he's helping the future of America grow up and be, be better. I will tell you as I part with you today that it is 100 days away from the tax layer roll. So we got 100 days to get ready and we've got a great lineup of events. So check out our website and I look forward to talking to you next week. Throughout the college years, worked at our church youth group, just being a, trying to be a leader and a helper. And I did that more as just a opportunity to do something fun and to do something extra. Um, I kind of quickly realized during those years that I really enjoyed you know, being a leader to kids and helping kids learn how to be a leader themselves and just felt like that um, this might be a true calling for me to be a teacher. Teachers would say, and I've always felt this way, that when that light bulb goes off in a kid's face, in a kid's brain, that they are um, getting it, that they understand what you're teaching. That doesn't always happen when you're in front of a bunch of kids and for those, especially those students who are struggling with their academics, working with them over and over again and reteaching the concepts and just seeing their face light up when they have that confidence and when they know they can answer a question on their own is just a wonderful feeling.